In the following video, we demonstrate the robustness of the RoboCook framework by applying external human perturbations during real-time execution. After the robot cuts the dough, the human puts the excess dough back. The robot knows it needs to cut again to have the dough in the right volume. Then the human perturbs and grips the dough into an irregular shape. RoboCook still figures out where to cut the dough. The robot then uses a gripper to pinch the dough to regularize the shape. The human subject grips the dough into an elongated shape, which deviates from the trajectory in the robot's original plan. With visual feedback, the robot grips the dough into a cubic shape again. Then the human grips the dough into an irregular shape, but the robot can still accurately achieve the subtarget with guidance from the self-supervised policy network. After the robot presses the dough, the human pinches the dough into a lumpy shape. Then the robot presses twice to flatten it again. When the human adds a small piece of dough on top of the original dough, the robot presses again to flatten it, showing that RoboCook is robust to volume changes. Next is rolling. After the robot rolls two times, the human folds the flattened dough into a thicker shape. Then the robot decides to roll again to spread the dough precisely at the places where the human just folded the dough. The human then adds a small piece on top of the flattened dough. The robot rolls again to ensure that the dough's surface area is large and flat enough to cut a circle out of it. After the robot cuts out the circle dumpling shape, the human shows no mercy and destroys everything the robot has just accomplished. The human messes everything up and puts the excess dough back into a very irregular shape. After this perturbation, the robot puts down the roller and picks up the knife to start again from the beginning, demonstrating the robustness, and I dare say patience, of the RoboCook framework in the face of heavy disturbance. After the robot has completed the cutting and gripping, the human perturbs again by folding the dough during pressing and rolling. RoboCook survives all these perturbations and successfully makes a dumpling. We did not disturb the last few steps because they are pre-coded and can't recover from perturbation. 